Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike here with a little back and biceps workout. Welcome to the video. New videos dropping every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's Saturday, Sunday. We got a little bit of vlogs. We got a little bit of working out. We got a little bit of food. We got a mix of things as I travel around the world trying to figure it all out. Been traveling a bunch lately. I went to Boston, went to LA. That footage uh, is half up right now. But before I left, you know, we had to get a little pumped. This is the last back and bicep workout before I headed on the road for about two weeks. I'm home right now for a week and I'm about to head to Texas in a couple days. So I'll be in Texas for uh, a little bit over a week as well. And then things slowly start to calm down, but we still got some movement uh, and then hopefully I'll settle down for the winter uh, and get back to the grind. Workouts actually on the road and in person have been pretty decent. Uh, not the best workouts on the road, but I'm getting things done. My nutrition's locked in. Uh, for those that, that, that don't know, I'm, I'm focusing in on, on getting healthy, focusing in on a little bit of hypertrophy and focusing in on losing a little bit more weight. Um, I'm currently probably around 202 to 204 every morning uh, consistently, which is good while I'm still enjoying food and still enjoying life. Look at those wangs. Man, throw some barbecue sauce on that thing. Have it for dinner. Call call, call Wingstop. Call Rick Ross. Oh, lemon pepper. Lats, baby. We're building lats. I'm actually feeling the leanest and, and probably most muscular I've ever been around 200-ish uh, pounds. So I'd like to get the leanest I've ever, ever been, uh, the lightest I've been within recent years of being kind of a lifter uh, as a full adult, non-basketball Mike, is around 192 pounds. So I think if I got to anywhere from 190 to 195 pounds currently, I would uh, by far be leaner than I've ever been. Uh, the, the, the workout routine is, is fairly simple. It's based on our Kaizen Power Building 2.0. Uh, it's basically a legs push pull routine. Uh, depending on how tired I am or how much traveling I'll do, do, I'll either take a rest day and repeat that or I'll do a legs push pull rest day upper lower. Um, I'm playing a little bit by ear, although I have some general guidelines that I'm following and I'm also aware of each exercise that I'm doing. And I'm, I am slowly trying to progressively overload. Um, but you know, the, the basic guidelines for me are to get one or two horizontal pulls on a pull day, one or two uh, vertical pulls, and I try to vary those, uh, whether it be within the workout or the week, and the literally only reason to vary them, uh, in my opinion, uh, it's not always optimal, but the reason I like to is to keep my mind fresh and to keep pushing harder and harder. So, uh, you know, number one thing for nutrition, success in business, success in the gym is compliance. You got to stick to it. And for me, right now, it's just about having fun. So, um uh, shout out to my man on Team Strength, Alan Trawl. He got this new little uh, seal row deal, uh, chest supported rows as a powerlifter or bodybuilder. I think one of the best rows ever. It makes you really not cheat. And then if you're powerlifting, uh, it allows you to give that low back uh, a little bit of break and you can focus your low back on purely deadlifts and squats, which would obviously probably come first in a workout if you're a powerlifter. Um, and for bodybuilding, I think it's one of the best because you can really focus on contracting, controlling the weight, contracting your muscles and not swaying back and forth. I think there is some time for some cheater stuff. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll throw in a couple extra reps with a little bit looser form um, but I think majority of the time to get a really squeeze in my lats and mid back I love a hammer strength supported row and now the seal row uh, super setting a little bit as soon as I move into arms so my pull day like I said one or two vertical one or two horizontal and then I'll try to get one or two biceps and I'll always try to get a face pull in almost every workout really one works the rear delts, always uh, keeps my shoulders safe. One works uh, external rotators, uh, and then also a little bit of the traps, you know. You got to get the traps because that's the only way you look like you lift. So uh, then moved on to the face pull with a, a heavier band, higher reps, just go till I burn, nothing too important on the rep count. I got some heavy hammer curls, like I said, a little bit looser form maybe on those, and then I'll finish up with a little bit stricter form on the uh, preacher curls here, just using 30 LBs. Uh, my arms actually, I don't think they're growing by any means, but they're they're feeling strong, they're handling a good amount of work, uh, and they're pretty lean already, so hopefully they don't shrink, uh, hopefully all this just comes from my tummy, because uh, as we know, you lose a little bit of weight, and uh, your whole body kind of decides where you're going to lose that weight. There may be some uh, science and research coming that some type of spot reduction may be possible, but it's very, very minimal. Uh, number one, we just got to worry about those calories, worry about losing weight, and then our body will get leaner progressively over time. I'm smashing cardio right now, whether it's some kind of circuit in the gym every day or a step mill hard for about 15 minutes, and it's feeling really, really good. I just brought my uh, bicycle to the shop, so I'm going to get that fixed up, and I'm going to try to get a little bit of outdoor cardio action. Yes, no more video games or in the gym. I'm going to try to see the sun, and the sun's going to try to see me. I appreciate you guys. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. Comment below the type of content you want to see on the channel. New videos coming again Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Saturday, Sunday. I'll be twitching soon again. Appreciate you guys catching the next one.